among our people. How are our people scattered? How do we get here? Slavery, slavery right? So our people are going to be scattered among all nations because we went to slavery in Mecca. Mecca was the world's largest slave port. That, and now we worship it, right? So he said, you're going to be scattered amongst all people. Read. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So God said you're going to be scattered in slavery and you're going to serve other gods. Read. Those many gods you was talking about. He said, you're going to get spread out and you're going to serve them. Read. Let's see what gods he described. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood. Even wood. What do our people serve today that's wooden? <laughs> on top of that cross, what is that? I mean, on top of that church, what is that? A wooden what? Cross. So God said, I'm going to spread you from the one end of the earth to the other one, and you're going to serve that wooden cross. And what else he say you're going to serve? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Wood and stone. What in being a Muslim or in the Quran, in the Quran, what do, they, what do they go to worship in Mecca? What do they walk around and bow down to? The Kaaba what? The Kaaba stone. God said you're going to be spread out in slavery and you're going to serve that Christian cross and you're going to serve a Kaaba stone. That's what God said was going to happen to our people for not keeping the commandments. Now let's go to Isaiah. This is the question that God had for those who wants to worship other things. 41. 21. 21? 21. 21. We're going to see what God has. God got a question for people who study the Quran. Let's see. Read that. 21. 21. 42, 21. 42, 21. No, no, 41, 21. 41, 21. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. We're going to show you. God got a question for people who read the Quran. Read that. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, saith the king of Jacob. So God says, produce your cause. Bring forth your strong reason. He's going to go into what he mean. Read. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. He said, get your Quran and show us prophecy. What's going to happen in the future? If you look at the Quran, there is no prophecies written in the Quran. But the Bible has many prophecies. It's a book of prophecies, right? So God said, with your Quran, show me what's going to happen in the future. Read. And it shows what shall happen. Let them show the former things. He said, let them show the former. Show us what happened in the past. I can get in this Bible and I can show you some history in this Bible. He said, show us what's going to happen in the future. I can show you that with the Bible. Show me what's going to happen, what happened in the past. I can show you that with the Bible. But can you show us that with the Quran? No. We are from, Abilene. we from Texas, Lubbock, Texas. But we got brothers here in Abilene, and Abilene, it's time for Abilene to wake up and get with the most high. Hey, look, no, no cap. I've been seeing it on the internet. Maybe. Right. Like a couple brothers been like in front of the church and they got the pastor. Like, right. The yeah, we out here. We, it, it's what club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. It's time for them. The same way we come out here to our people, it's time for the pastor to start stepping down or te teaching it right or stepping down. That's what we eat out here. Producing the cause or throw that crap away. Islam, the Quran is trash. The Bible is the only true book, and that's what God's saying. Show me what's going to happen in the future. Get your Quran, show me what's going to happen in the future. It ain't there. Show me what's happening in the past. I can do it with the scriptures. Watch this. Hold it. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let me show you some history with the Bible. This is the only book that can do this. I'm going to show you some history, and I'm going to show you some prophecy. Right? And then you got to decide what's the true book. You know what I'm saying? Because you say you really don't read the Bible, that's an issue. Our people have fallen away from the Bible, and that's why we have fallen into decay. You may, yeah, hey, we gotta, you gotta start keeping these commandments. It, it don't do me no good for you to pray for you if you ain't gonna. I could pray for you to get your spirit right, but if you don't want to get your spirit right, it's it's in vain. Right. Right. So watch this. I'm gonna show you some history that at this time it was prophecy. 
Even at the time of Isaiah, it was prophecy. Now, in 2022, it's history. Watch this. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When the Israelites was in Egypt, what were they doing in Egypt? What was, the, what was the Israelites doing in Egypt when they went to Egypt? Give me that. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. What is bondage? This is bondage. Slavery, right? So God said Egypt means house of bondage or slavery, right? Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did our people get to slavery in America? But how did the blacks get to America? What was our mode of transportation? But what did God call them? With ships. With ships. God, this is Moses talking thousands of years ago, way before it happened. He said, if you don't keep these commandments, you don't go to slavery on ships. Show me the Quran where the Quran ever prophesied something like that was going to happen. Something that big was prophesied thousands of years ago. God said, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to put you into slavery on ships. And it happened. Because God controls everything, right? Read. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said, the same way I'm telling you is going to happen, you're never going to see your homeland again. Since we got out them ships in America, have we ever been back home? No. God said there was, there was a prophecy God said was going to happen for not listening. For one to follow Quran, for one to follow Buddha and all that, you're not going to go back home. This is Deuteronomy 28, 68. The, the book of Deuteronomy 28 is a book that identifies who we are, right? Hold that real quick. So come check out my sign real quick. You know what I'm saying? So where would you be on this sign right here? No, on this side over here. Because over here is what we get called in the Bible. On this side is what our oppressors called us. Judah, right? Judah, most powerful tribe. I, no, no offense. But Judah, the top tribe. You know what I'm saying? So Christ came. Watch this. You, are, you, you know, you're in Jesus Christ. We ain't got to go there. You're in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? So you come from the same tribe as Jesus Christ. The person who coming back to fix the situation that we are in, right? He's going to go, he be the one who come and save us. Finish that verse real quick. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there, whenever you got off them stations, wherever your boat dock in Mecca, in South Carolina, in Brazil, in Mexico, because those are all our people in those places. He said, wherever your ship dock, and there you shall be sold unto your enemy. You're going to be sold unto your enemy. Who did we get sold to? We'll get to that. Who, who was our enemy? Who, who sold us in slavery? What race of people? The white people. Who who was the ones on the auction block selling us? White people, right? He said you're right. gonna be sold, but what did God call him? He said you're gonna be sold to who? Read it. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies. God said you're gonna be sold unto your enemies. Those people who sold us in slavery, God calls them our enemies. And that's what we got to realize. Right. We're at war right now, and that's the enemy. We don't even know we're at war. Yeah, we, th we, we, we dipping and dabbing and all those other things, thinking it's other guys, when there's one true God who told you, you got enemies. And once you wake up and realize what he's telling you, you'll be able to join a fight. We join a fight. It's time for you to join the fight and get over here and start keeping it and teaching our people how to come back to God so we can get these bad things from happening. Finish that. For bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. We had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, you can name him, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, all of them. But they ain't never got us out the hood because God said once you start breaking my commandments, these things gonna happen to you. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. Now I gotta show you who God said these things gonna happen to because it's a lot of you and ye and all that. But who is he talking to? Watch this, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses is talking to Israel in Deuteronomy 28, right? But who did the things that happened in Deuteronomy 28 happen to? Who went into slavery on ships? We, uh, not just Judah, because you got to remember, like you said, Christopher Columbus, he came in 1492. He came over here, there was natives. How did they get back to Europe? On slave ships, right? The same way we got from Africa over here on slave ships, they went to Europe on slave ships. So these things that happened in this, in this, Bible happened to all the people on that sign. 
the so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Latinos, uh, Jamaicans, Haitians, all of us went through that. These are the things that happened to us, and that's what God said was going to happen to his chosen people, the Israelites, for breaking his commandments. And now We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.